How you doing, my lovelies? I usually say Shalom, but this isn't really one of my usual scripted videos. You know what? Screw it. Shalom, ladies and jellyfish. And today, I'm gonna be talking about an aspect of cartoons that most people automatically attribute to quality, and that's maturity. Maturity, isn't that a novel approach? Ben's got a girlfriend, Ben's got a girlfriend. <laughs> Take any two shows, try comparing them for quality, and the cartoon that's more mature typically gets a leg up on the other one. For example, Korra. Sure, the story is dog crap in a lot of places, and the characters can be super boring, and half the seasons can be a major letdown, but hey, it's more mature, so of course it's comparable or even better than Avatar. Hey, Ben 10 Alien Force is darker and more mature than the original Ben 10. I guess that means it's better because it panders to my desire to be an intellectual millennial, even though I'm a lowly Gen Z who's only experienced around Nickelodeon to freaking Game Shakers or Sanjin Craig. Now don't get me wrong, both those examples apply to me too. For instance, I think Korra Season 1 absolutely smashes the entirety of Avatar, and for a long time, I thought Alien Force and Ultimate Alien were better than the OG Ben 10, just because they featured older characters, and it took place at night all the time. But if you step back and look at it, maturity shouldn't really dictate the quality of a show. Or should it? The story of a cartoon should really be the number one priority, so who cares if the show featured a 12 year old kid who makes fart jokes, or the alcoholic 17 year old who constantly worries about her love life and has clinical depression and smokes a pack a day. Obviously people like mature cartoons as they get older because they see themselves in those characters, and usually mature cartoons actually tell a richer story, because there's more drama at stake, but that's not always the case. Like yeah, obviously Teen Titans is better than Teen Titans Go, but it's not because of the maturity. It's because Teen Titans Go is a terrible cash grab show with cookie cutter stories, flanderous characters, and stupid comedy. And because Teen Titans is better in just about every way, not counting how dark it can be. So maturity doesn't make a cartoon great, or make it terrible, so what does it make it? Well, it makes it deeper. And that sometimes comes with advantages, such as shows like BoJack Horseman, or with its disadvantages, like Adult Party Cartoon. Like seriously, name me one person who unironically prefers the Adult Party Cartoon over the obviously much more childish and less mature Ren and Stimpy. Trying to be mature doesn't necessarily make a cartoon anything. But those are obvious comparisons. You take one terrible show and one decent show and pin them against each other like the maturity aspect makes an impact. So let's say two similar shows in terms of objective quality and compare them in maturity. So for example, Spongebob and The Simpsons. Pretty similar in quality, both being long-running shows on major networks with seasonal raw taking both shows downhill in a lot of ways. The only real difference is that The Simpsons can be a lot more mature in a few aspects. I personally think most people who aren't super critical about animation, like some of my IRL friends, would say The Simpsons is better because Spongebob is just for kids. Even though Spongebob and The Simpsons have arguably been equally influential in the animation world, and in both their peaks have been some of the greatest cartoons to ever be created. And clearly, they both work in their own respects, since they're also some of the longest running shows to ever come out. This is where the it's just for kids argument comes into play, as shows that have their priorities made with the intention of entertaining children, get pushed aside for cartoons that try to challenge the very fabric of storytelling and use a lot more swear words and stuff like that. And I think that's a real shame, especially because pretty much all of animation was seen as a children's medium until some adult animation shows were made, as well as companies like Pixar realizing how powerful this medium of filmmaking can be. And after that transition was made, a lot of hardcore animation fans who correct you for writing Spider-Man like this instead of like this, started telling the world that animation was no longer reserved 100% for kids shows, and more and more adult animation shows, as well as children's shows with adult humor, started sprouting all over the place. And with more and more sprouting up, this is where this video's title comes into play. With more and more stuff, more and more garbage eventually made it to the top, and showed that just like terrible kids shows, mature shows can be just as bad, if not worse than shows that were made for 11 year olds to watch after learning 6x7 in math class. That's why I have a lot more respect and admiration for children's shows like Spongebob or Hey Arnold, for taking the easy to consume children's format, and on top of obviously telling a good story, peppering in adult humor and dark comedy to appeal to more people and keep those kids laughing as they continue to get older. And the beauty is that, as they mature as people and learn more things, they laugh at different things. Like for example, when you were a kid, you laughed at Squidward getting run over by this crowd, and as an adult, you laugh at the episode's pretty obvious political statement that's casually made fun of in the context of the episode. We'll saw the foundation of King Business in Oh, Batman the Animated Series is obviously better than Spider-Man the Animated Series because it's darker and there are silhouettes and stuff, I think. Seriously, why do people equate maturity with quality? 
Sure, one features more mature things like death and alcohol and drugs and swear words, but which one tells a better story? Don't even try to call me a hypocrite, by the way. I admit to also liking mature shows more for that reason alone, which is part of the inspiration behind this video. I actually plan to compare Spider-Man 1994 and Batman the Animated Series in a future video, and I'll remember to keep the word maturity out of the script. By the way, I mentioned Spongebob before. Compare that to literally any show, and even though it's probably less mature by many levels, I think it's comparable to a lot of things. Bojack Horseman covers the inner complexities of molecular anomalies of metaphors and literary devices, and Ravioli Ravioli Be More Originoli is still 10 times more memorable and legendary of a quote, and it probably took 10 times less brain power and writing talent to come up with. My point is, you can say Spongebob is better, or Bojack is better, or even freaking Rocket Power is better, but maturity should not be a factor in that decision. So next time some boomer comes up to you and says, Korra is better than Avatar because it's darker and deeper and more mature, and it makes me feel all good inside because I can watch it with my parents without them thinking I'm a weirdo who watches Peppa Pig at 27 years old. You tell him, No it's not, you're dumb, pick up a book and eat my vascular bundle. With that said, I've been Ascare, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you beautiful ladies and jellyfish next time. Shalom! Also a completely unrelated note, but researching this video I remember that the show Scaredy Squirrel existed. Remember that?